आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी हैव टू प्रूफ दैट टू साइन स्क्वायर थ्री पाई बाई फोर प्लस टू कॉस स्क्वायर पाई बाई फोर प्लस टू सेक स्क्वायर पाई बाई थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू टेन ऑल राइट इन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन वेन यू गिवेन मल्टीपल टिग्नोमेटिक रेशियोज इट इज ऑलवेज बेस्ट डेट यू कन्वर्ट ऑल द टिग्नोमेटिक रेशियोज इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइन और कोजाइन ऑल राइट इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन देर आर टू टर्म्स इन साइन एंड कोजाइन एंड अदर वन इज इन सेक सो यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट सो दैट इट बिकम्स ईजियर Why am I asking you to convert them into sine and cosine specifically? Because most of us remember the values of trigonometric ratios for specific angles in sine and cosine only. All right, that's why. So let us begin with the left hand side. The first term is two sine square three pi by four. All right, plus twice cos square pi by four. Now for this term, as we know that cos theta, that is the reciprocal of cos theta, is what sec theta. That is how sec theta is related to cos theta. All right, one by sec theta is equal to cos theta, or you can say one by cos theta is equal to sec theta. All right. So I'm using that and I'm putting it twice instead of sec square theta. I'm writing it as One upon cos square of pi by three. All right. Now that we have converted all our expressed terms in sine or cosine, what we have to do is we have to make sure that all the angles, preferably, are within zero to pi by two. Why so? Why so? Because most of us remember the value of trigonometric ratios for uh, the angles between zero to pi by two. But we see that this angle three pi by four. Is not between zero to pi by two. Rest or all, all okay, all right. But we have to take care of this. So in order to do that, we remember that uh, this expression can be written as twice sine square instead of pi by four. You can write it as pi minus pi by four. Okay. And rest you have to copy as it is. Two cos square of pi by four plus Two divided by cos square of pi by three. Okay, why I have expressed this three pi by four as pi minus pi by four? Because sine of pi minus theta is equal to sine theta. Okay, it is a general formula, and you should remember it. Since we are talking about the second quadrant, the sine is going to be positive. Sine theta is positive in first and second quadrant, all right? So Instead of this sine pi minus pi by four, I can uh, put sine theta, or that is sine pi by four. Theta is pi by four in this scenario, all right? So it becomes twice sine square pi by four plus two cos square pi by four plus two divided by cos square of pi by three, all right? Now what you have to do, you have just have to put all these values. Since we know that sine of pi by four is equals to cos of pi by four is equals to one by root two, all right? And cos of pi by three is one by two, all right? Now you just have to take these values and put it here. So it becomes twice a square of one by root two plus twice into square of one by root two again plus two upon one by two whole square. So it becomes two into one by two. Plus two into one by two. Plus two into two square. That is four. So it is one plus one. Four into two is eight. So I have finally deduced it, and it is 
8 all right okay i look at the question and this was 8 okay so have we have proved this question thank you for watching the video class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je mains aur advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubtnet app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 400 400 400 par